Here, let's look at uh, performing ad hoc calculations in Tableau. Many a times, I want to create a calculation which I want to add to a particular view, but I don't want to add it to the data. Till now, whatever the calculations we have seen, we were able to add them to the data window and they are being used for various activities at a later point. But now I really want to create an ad hoc calculation on the spot, which I want it to be included as a part of the view, but I don't want it added to the data window. For example, what I am simply trying to say is take a simple uh, example. Let's take this new data sheet. Let's say I am looking at the renter and I am looking at uh, the amount, right? The price, very simple stuff. So these are the rents, these are the renters, these are the rents, right? Probably uh, I can even uh, put some kind of a chart like this. Fine. Now what I am trying to see is, I really want to highlight those people who have paid a rent of more than 3000 with a different color and less than 3000 with some other color, right? Now, earlier, what did we do when we were talking about a parameter or when we were talking about a calculated field, we are created a new field. If you have to really uh, go back, I'm creating a calculated field higher than 3000 or probably about 3000. That's the name of the field, right? And uh, all we could have uh, said is price, right? I am looking at if the price is greater than 3000, right? I would have simply created one single one single parameter like this, applying whether the price is greater than 3000. Now, what would have come out? Let's check the data. We are getting about 3000. So there are some true, some false. Now, all I could have done is pull that about 3000 into the color and I could have got a color differentiation. This is a routine way. Now, what I really want to do is, I don't want to create a field like this. So let me delete it. I don't want to create a field like this. Ad hoc. I don't want something come out here in my data. So I want to create only for this view and any new view, it should not be included. The same example. So for that, what I can create is, you click anywhere in the blank locations here in the row, in the column, or in the space, wherever it is, when you are double clicking it, you get a kind of a formula bar here. Now, what I can simply do is here also, I can keep that kind of a linkage. So all I can say is price, right here also, I can say price greater than 3000. Now I got some field, right? Price greater than 3000. Now here I want to use it as an aggregate. Now let us let me show that. Now let's say I drag this onto the color. Simple, price greater than 3000. So these are the three people whose price is greater than 3000. And simply uh, giving me the ones who are greater than 3000 as one color true versus the false. And I'm able to simply uh, drag the stuff wherever required. Right. So on the color I can drag and anywhere else I can very well drag depending on the requirement. So it is not showing up here. But if I really drag it from here to here, it will typically show up and it can be used again. So these will create ad hoc kind of representation, which I can really play around. Now, again, when I'm double clicking it, I'm looking for something less than 2000. 
now there is nothing that is less than 2000 so nothing has happened but when I am looking for less than 4000 yes there are three which are showing less than 4000 and suddenly the updating is happening accordingly now let's say less than or equal to 4000 because I am sensing one of them at 4000 now there is one more so probably you can simply play around uh, and but this value is not getting created as a part of your original data window so that's one more aspect which can help us in doing the visualization very effectively all right so just a quick small session thanks a lot for listening to this thank you very much